The Camellia Bowl is Georgia Southern and Buffalo. Buffalo is a three and a half point underdog. The total sits at 67 over at BetUS. This one's on Tuesday, December 27th at 11 a.m. Central Time. Now, this is a very interesting ball game to me because Buffalo played horrid towards the end of the season. They were 0-4 against the number uh, towards the end of the year. It took them four tries to get their sixth win to get to a bowl game. And we're just going to pull up the numbers here so that you can see exactly what we're looking at. Even with all of that, from week eight on, Georgia Southern has not exactly been much better either. PPA margin, Buffalo number 111, Georgia Southern number 79. I've got Georgia Southern favored by 2.88 here. These look like two pretty evenly matched teams, but at the same time, I, I don't feel great about either of them, really. Uh, and I don't know why anybody else would either. I mean, it's nuts. The, the one thing that Buffalo does really well on defense is stop the pass. They're number 28 in PPA per pass. Now, they are number 84 in passing success rate allowed, but regardless, uh, Buffalo number one in havoc rate since week eight. Uh, Georgia Southern is number 44. Georgia Southern throws the ball six, over 60% of the time, which is just nuts because they're actually better at running the ball than they are at throwing it. And yet they they do it at a 60-40 clip. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, if they were to change the way that they play, change their offensive philosophy just a little bit and run the ball, uh, get this thing closer to 50-50, Buffalo's number 124 in PPA per rush on defense. And Georgia Southern's number 46 there. Uh, Georgia Southern number 18 in rushing success rate, even though they only run the ball like 39% of the time, we'll say. So, yeah. Field position, certainly uh, a big coup for, uh, for Georgia Southern here. Uh, on the other side of the ball... Buffalo, like if I'm not mistaken, they got two running backs that uh, that could be out for this game. That is a that's a big miss because it, that's the one thing that Georgia Southern does not defend very well at all. Georgia Southern can pass the ball or can uh, can defend the pass. They're number 37 PPA per pass uh, allowed, at number 42 passing success rate allowed. Well, as far as running the ball goes, Georgia Southern's defense number 122. PPA per rush since week eight, number 114 rushing success rate allowed. They're number 130 in offensive line yards. They're number 101 in stuff rate. Like they, they cannot stop the run. They aren't built for it. So this would be where Buffalo would take over, except that it looks like they got two guys out. So we'll see what they end up doing there. Um, I don't like, I don't like this game. I don't like, uh, <laughs> I don't like having to make a pick here. If I had to go a certain way, because Buffalo is not going to be able to take advantage of that rushing defense, at least I don't think they are, I think Kyle Van Treese is going to come out fired up here. Obviously, he transferred from Buffalo to Georgia Southern. Uh, I think he's going to be fired up. Give me Georgia Southern to cover the three, even though my numbers don't say it. Uh, I, I like them minus, minus three and a half. Give me Georgia Southern minus three and a half. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.